Hey everyone, I'm recording right now with my new JVC Averio camcorder, which I'm trying out for the first time in the history of the world. And I figured why not do a fan video. And uh, this is a remake video of sorts of my Polish Brass Hunter Mayfair. And uh, no, this is not the one you saw in another video. This is a completely different one. I got it from my good friend, Terry Hosfeld, along with uh, three other hunters, which were Lexingtons and like the bronze finish, I think it was, or the iron, whatever. It, I don't know. Whatever you call it. The one that was popular like in the late 90s. But I don't know if Hunter really manufactures any fan with, the, with that finish anymore because I can't get matching lights for them, or at least one. I plan to put one here as soon as I assemble the blades. But let's have a look at the fan, zoom in, see the, the canopy up top, came just as you see it, although the blades were initially missing, but they were ones that I added, and they, uh, what I did was I had a spare set, which I, the new in the package set I gave my brother to use in the one in his master bedroom, which is a lot cleaner than this one, and it's a year newer, but, Hunter logo right there yet is indeed a hunter I haven't gotten around to cleaning it but anyway I'll see the reverse switch right there bottom switch cap there are the vents call them the teardrop vents and let's have a look at the blades Nice pointed tip blades. And on the top is walnut. If you can see that. I don't know how well you can see it. I decided to use the oak. Because I had the walnut side down on the passport, I could always put those the passport too that looks very, very similar to this one. There's a the bottom switch cap. Easily uh, put a light on it right there, but I don't think I'm going to do that anytime soon. Let's find the way it is. And uh, two fans before this one, I had that four bladed, it's four bladed sister from 1989, which was strictly walnut. And if you see the uh, switch housing is far different, it's not long and narrow like you find on the original over there. See that? It's got the more generic hunter type switch housing. But anyway, that being said, let's rev the fan up first on low. Okay, medium. Starting to gain some more momentum. Feel a little breeze on it. And let's Bump it up to high, shall we? It had some bearing noise, but nothing we need to be concerned about. I'm still going to put some zoom spout on it anyway, give it a drink just to be safe. Runs really well, all things considered. It's got a good airflow to it. But now let's power it down, shall we?
I mean, barracks can't be that bad if it's taking this long to spin down. Still might need a drink though, but. So I filmed it before I had it in a different spot with a uh, light kit on it and the other side was showing. It was these exact blades, so this is a remake video of sorts. By the way, this uh, particular model was sold exclusively at Kmart in the early to mid-90s because it was like circa 1990. It was marketed as a 5 blade only fan. And it was purchased at the Kmart I ended up working at till, uh, till it unfortunately closed last year. And uh, you can look for some of my videos that took place there. Just uh, type in Kmart miniseries and it'll take you to Kmart 3951. Did some really good announcements there. Kmart still does sell ceiling fans, but they're they're nothing like this. I mean, they're just subpar. I mean, they make this one look like a Casablanca. Okay, bearings must not be that bad if it took this long to spin down, but this concludes our broadcast day. Thank you for watching. More to come. And thank you, Terry, for this lovely fan. I'm sure to put it to good use. Thanks again. Take care, everybody.